Hello everyone, as we already know, you, me, trees, our clothes, food and every living thing and most of the things we obtain from living things are made of organic compound. So let us learn more about organic compounds. Let's start with the simplest organic compound, methane, which is CH4. Here, one carbon atom forms four single covalent bonds with four hydrogen atoms to achieve eight valence electrons. And thus we get CH4, which is methane. Now, two carbon atoms can form a short chain and each carbon needs another three electrons to achieve eight valence electrons. So we see each carbon atom forms three covalent bonds with the three hydrogen atoms and this compound is called ethane having a molecular formula C2H6. Now this is propane and here three carbon atoms form a chain. Then each carbon atom tries to achieve eight valence electrons by forming single covalent bond with hydrogen atoms. Methane, ethane, propane, butane. Sound like rhyming words, isn't it? Their names are similar and they are hydrocarbons and have only single covalent bonds which means they are saturated hydrocarbons. You know saturated hydrocarbons are called alkanes. You must have noticed that names of all alkanes end with A and E like butane, propane etc. And what about the first part? Well the first part of the name is not taken randomly. That part actually tells us the number of carbon atoms in a compound. How? For example, if a hydrocarbon has one carbon atom, the root of the name would be meth. If it's an alkane, we add ANE as a suffix. So, meth plus ANE and thus we get methane. Now, what about alkane with two carbon atoms? Well, it is eth plus ane and we get ethane. So remember, when there are one carbon atoms, the root of the name would be meth. When there are two carbon atoms, it's eth. For three, it's prop. For four, it's but. For 5, it is pent. For 6, it's hex. For 7, hept. 8, it's oct. 9, is non. And 10, is dec. And thus we get meth plus ane, methane. Eth plus ane, ethane. Prop plus ane, propane. But plus ane, butane. Pent plus ane, pentane. So remember, all the alkanes end with suffix ane, that is a n e. So remember, alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons that contain only single covalent bonds between the two carbon atoms. So that was all about alkanes. In the next lesson, we shall learn about alkenes and alkynes which are also hydrocarbons.